Welcome to Tiny Texas Living. Who says you can't live big while living tiny? <sighs> I need to cook my dinner, but I just want to complete one thing before I do. One thing, so I can feel like I accomplished something today with my life. Because today has been hard. In the time leading up to me hitting the road, I usually have a lot of things that are going on, not only here at my base camp in my tiny home, but also in my tiny van. And that's definitely been the case. I'm tired, I'm so tired. But I want to get a few more things done so that whenever I am finished for the day, I feel like I accomplished something. And there's a lot of chaos going on in my life, and so accomplishing things is big for me right now. So, I had an idea. I received a Christmas present for my tiny home, and I'm very excited about getting it out and actually using it. However, it requires some assembly, and I've been putting this off because it requires some assembly, and I don't know how well that's gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna work out well. I don't know if I'm gonna make a total train wreck mess of this, and I realistically don't know if my brain is working enough to do this, but I'm gonna try really hard. So, after I get this finished, that means that tomorrow it's already going to start off my day with having to do tasks, because for this to fit where it needs to go, I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. But today, today, I just wanna get it done so that already sets me up for success tomorrow in doing that project. I don't think that's too much to ask. So without further ado, under these that go in my van is this box, and this box is going to be today's tiny home project. Today, I'm going to be assembling something that is unlike anything that most people have ever put in their house, let alone seen. Without further ado, it is time. How cute is that? It says you're special. Ah, I like that. That gives me positive hope that I'm gonna be able to do this. What's in here though? Oh, it looks like a little bit of everything. Okay, so I have some gloves a cord, all of the fixins here it looks like, so this part can stay. And then inside here, there's a barrage of different items. Okay, it's a nice little card. Okay, this is where the seller is if I need more information. There's a warranty and this, this is the instructions. I need this. So why is this so different than anything anybody might have seen or have in their home? Because, well, I'm a little different. And so I don't like to just do things the traditional way. I like to find something a little unique. So I was looking for a lamp. I like light, obviously. I've talked about that over and over again with everyone who will listen to me from the outdoor twinkle lights of Christmas to the inside lights above my cabinets. I just think that life is better whenever you can have something kind of neat. And I've been like this since I was a kid. I had one of those little twirly ball things that would project images even whenever I was younger and I loved it. So I've just continued to keep that part of me alive even into my now 40s. So I wanted to do something that would give me regular light, but in an irregular way. And so I was looking for lamps before Christmas and I found one that was really wild. And so when my parents asked me, what would you like for Christmas? I was like, this lamp would be great because it's the most fitting thing that I can actually use in my space. And because of that, it's gonna be interesting. This, this right here, it's called the Stick Man Floor Lamp. As you can see, right up my alley. So it comes with all of the attachments, which is great because I didn't know if it would or not, but it also comes with the Allen wrenches for it. So now I just have to figure out which of these goes where and how. So inside I go and there's gonna be some things that obviously I can just kind of throw out and pick up in a little bit. And then there's this, which is the vast majority of the pieces. And um, I would definitely say this is a some assembly required kind of project. And uh, looks like I'll be going to the dumpster in a little while. In the meantime though, I'm gonna pull all this out and try to identify the different parts. There's so many parts. I, I think those are feet. I'm pretty sure those are feet but these also look like feet. Okay, there's two feet for each hole. Okay, this makes more sense. So this one is already in there, but that one would be the one that goes back here. 
This is making so much more sense already. It's like a puzzle. Okay, everything is marked here. So it shouldn't be terribly hard. I'm trying to find out if the pieces themselves are marked. It doesn't look like they are, but it shows that there's clearly certain kinds of pieces. And then on here also, as I go to the back, it shows me what those pieces are. Okay, I went ahead and spread out all of the pieces and separated them into the kinds and then also pulled out the Allen wrenches. And then on the instructions, I'm noticing that it tells me which kind of screws to use in which part. And it indicates that really tiny on here. So the feet will use the medium screws. Okay, now according to this, I can put the foot wherever I want it to be based on what kind of pose I want it to be doing and it can actually change over time. So I take the medium screw and this guy and I put this on the opposite side and then I use the Allen wrench to tighten it into place. And I think I might have to use both Allen wrenches to do this because otherwise the screw is gonna move a little bit, I think. I don't know what this is the best idea, but it seems to be working so far at least. Let's see, got it in there. Now just need to tighten it down. So I'll start back here and, ooh, I may have tightened it a little bit too tightly. Okay, so that's a learning curve. So I need to loosen it and then I can put that in and then tighten it back down. I need to put it in the square side, not the round side. And then the screw goes in. And then I have to figure out where it goes through. There it is. Okay, it's in place. It's standing. I'm really proud. So I just again need to insert the square part and then the screw and then line them up. And then put the other end in and twist by hand to start with. Definitely starting to grab there, but also this is starting to fall. So I have to brace the leg while also holding onto the foot, the screw and twisting, but it's starting to come together and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Now I'm gonna have to directionalize the legs in a moment to figure out if this is exactly where I want them or if I need to move them any, but so far, this is looking pretty cool. Now I'm pretty sure that after this part, I'm going to have to possibly set this on the ground because it's getting kind of tall and I'm not very tall. So D is this piece and apparently it's supposed to fit like this and this is the hip. So this leg needs to go on this side and this leg needs to go on this side. And then I have to do the same thing with a medium screw. I have to find the holes line them up and then attach them. There's so much going on with this one. Okay, so now we've moved on to the body and there's two pieces for this and we also use a medium screw. So according to this, I'm going to again do one on each side. These are a little different because they have these extra holes on the top. So that's gonna be interesting in a minute. I have to put it in on one side, okay. And then the other side, this is where it starts to get hard again because I still need to grab this and tighten it, oh no. And again, I can pose this in so many different ways. So if I wanted to, I could have the body doing this, which might be cool after I get it into place. But right now I need it to just be straight up and down because I am struggling already. Okay, so there are two parts. So I need long screws and then small screws for this. Okay, gonna go get my supplies. I think this is right. These are the longer of the two remaining pieces. And so I'm just going to wedge that in there. I have to have both of them though. How do they both fit? I'm so confused. Okay, according to this, they both go on the outside and the only thing that goes on the inside is the piece that will be for the lamp portion. So I need to make sure that I put these on the outside bin. And I guess in the process, I need to go ahead and pull out the lamp portion also so that I can go ahead and get it set. I think that would be smart. According to the instructions goes in here and then I use a medium screw for it. So I guess I could put it on first and just make my life 
a bit less complicated and then put the arms on so I can pose them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. In here, just pull it apart just a little bit and then toward this side and then in and twist. Seems good, seems sturdy, doesn't seem to be going anywhere, that's good. Large, 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 I can do this, I can do this. I feel like I need one more set of hands to do this. It'd be so much more convenient to have one more set of hands. The large part goes at the top. Maybe I could put this one in and push the screw through and then put this one on and grab this guy. This seems to work way better and then I don't have to like put the Allen wrench in my mouth which is probably actually really disgusting and I shouldn't do that. I mean, it's really hard to be upset when something this fun comes together. Now I just need to put the other attachment for the arms which uses the small screw and the actual structure is finished. This is coming along so well and I, I love this. This is a nice tall lamp too, which means that I can really make an impact when it comes to the light, which is what I wanted to do. Now the corner that I'm gonna put this in is actually my corner that I keep all of my shoe storage in. And so I thought that would be a good place to put this because it's very graphic and fun and it'll be next to my barber chair. And so it'll be super cool. But at the same time, that means that all of the stuff that's on that little tiny table that I have over there is going to move over by my couch and also by my chair on the opposite side of the room. Now I've been needing a lamp over on that side whenever it's kind of in the weird time of day where I don't wanna have the bright lights on because my eyes are super sensitive, but at the same time, I wanna have a little bit more light. So I'd been contemplating different lamps for a while over there. However, I didn't really have a good solution for one. And so I decided that just keeping a small reading lamp would be great over there. And so that's what I'm gonna do is keep a small lamp on that side and this guy on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna try to use both of these to see if I can get it to tighten faster. Oh, that definitely works better. Okay, so I adjusted the other side. Now it's time to adjust this one. Just finding the hole. There we go. So far so good. Now it's time for me to put on the top part, which is the head, but also the actual lamp. So it says here that I'm going to have to roll the shade onto the actual shade structure. So this guy and this guy. Out of the plastic, it must come first. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a Velcro exterior along this rim. So I'm assuming that whenever it goes in, it's going to be supported a bit better because of that. Huh, that's, that's really different. Now it has some tape on it. Is this tape gonna come off or is it gonna be a pain? No, it actually came off. That's kind of nice. Didn't rip or tear. The material on this is very different than I expected also. And it has a fully lined exterior section that'll go onto this lampshade. So I should be able to take it and roll it onto here, in theory. And then maybe as I do that, okay, this is, this is another time that having extra hands would be helpful. I can also attach it to this. I guess. Oh gosh, this, this is scary for me. I don't know why this is scary for me, but this is scary for me. It just seems like it's gonna be wrong. And I think it's because it keeps grabbing things. Oh, I definitely did it backwards. I definitely did it backwards. Okay, so I need to fix this part where it rolls over onto itself, which surprisingly, that's not gonna be as hard to fix as I thought it would be. So I need to push it down flat and then wind this part over flat. Did I just put together a lampshade that quickly? Surely not, did I mess up? No, I, I didn't mess up. Now as I'm reading the instructions, this is the next part that I need to worry about. 
So I'm gonna untwist the cord so that I can take away some of the bulk from this. And then I think it just fits up in here and kind of screws into place, but I'm not sure exactly. Huh, I'm a little confused about this part. I don't know if this is supposed to go in yet or if it's not, there's no order, but it definitely shows that it's there and then they put the lampshade on. Oh, I see. There's a screw on ring on the top that comes off and then you put it in here like so and then this screws on to hold it in place that's pretty handy and then next i put the lampshade on surely there has to be more right no in fact there is not i just do that and then i put the light bulb in and i'm finished wow this was so much easier than I thought it would be. I do, however, think that the screw on ring is what holds this in place. So I need to magically have extra arms again so that I can unscrew this, hold this cord, and then put this on. So since I don't have extra arms, I'm gonna move the table closer, which is why I have a table with wheels because I'm always doing weird stuff. So I'm going to take this out. I'm gonna move this one down so more of it sticks up and then put this back in. And then this, facing the back with the seam. And at this point, I'm too short to see. So I'm really, really nervous about this. And I guess I could get a ladder, but uh, that just seems like an extra step that makes everything fall. So instead, I'm gonna tilt this guy and go in with the screw in part. Oh, it's hard to see in there even like this. I can do this. Whoa, 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 I'm dropping things. Oh no, maybe I pull it down and extend it all the way to the bottom and then go up with it and then add this again and then tilt. Problem is when I tilt, it kind of, it kind of takes the things out of alignment a little bit, just a little. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, okay. Just me and my little stick guy hanging out, you know? We got it figured out finally. Now the final part of this journey. They sent a light bulb and some gloves because they don't want you to touch the light bulb with your hands. So we're gonna put on these little cotton gloves, which, um, okay, sure. I think I only actually need one of them, to be honest. And I'm going to open up the LED bulb, which is in a package that now my hand is too slick to open. <laughs> Please don't let me drop this. There's the bulb right there. It looks like it's in good shape. It's just an LED. And so, oh no, I have to tilt again. So I'm gonna set this down, pick it up by the top, and then tilt so I can see into the stick guy. Oh my gosh, these things are so slippery. I'm so afraid I'm gonna break this light now. Okay, it's done. The procedure has been complete. Now, does it work? Without further ado. Oh, it works! I mean, like, look at this. This is my stick lamp guy. Like, what? What? And then I can also, like, move it. So if I wanted him to be like, hey, I want to shake your hand, I can do that. If I want him to be like, hey, it's exciting outside, we could do that too. What? Oh, this is exciting beyond anything because it's just so uniquely weird, which makes it make perfect sense in my space. It doesn't matter to me if my aesthetic is everyone else's aesthetic because my point of my space is to make me feel joy when I walk in the door through bright colors and fun things like this guy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And now I'm not dreading cleaning out that corner tomorrow. It's not gonna be so bad. So I guess now I just have to go throw away a whole bunch of boxes and well, Tomorrow's gonna be fun.